Hey guys, Chris here from Racing Junk, and we are excited today to introduce you to our finalists for Max the TAC 5 giveaway. Um, this year, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Max the TAC, it is a grassroots um, trailer giveaway. Up for grabs this year is a 24 foot Intec trailer valued at 20K. Um, we also have some prize packs from our co sponsors. Car Chicks, USMA, Mole Tool, and Red Tide Canopies. Um, the competition kicked off in March and we had thousands of entries. Uh, and now after many rounds of voting, we are down to the final three. Um, so today we are joined by Lauren Butler, who is one of the three. So everyone say hello to Lauren. Hey. <laughs> First off, Lauren, congratulations on making it to the top three in Max Attack. Um, that's quite a feat, so congratulations again. Um, I kind of want to start this off um, kind of in the beginning. What's your origin story of when you got into the racing industry and kind of take us on the journey of uh, where you are now? Because I think you actually raced with one of our fellow partners in the series, Super, Co Super Stock, right? So if you want to just take us on that journey, that would be awesome. Yeah, so I started my racing career. Um, I actually started even before that. I was around 10 or 11. My dad bought me a go-kart, and after tearing up the yard after a couple of years, he finally asked me if I wanted to take it to a track. <laughs> and I said, sure, why not? <laughs> you know, <laughs> mom to take out the swimming pool. Um, so we started traveling through um, Ohio with the Buckeye Karting Club. Um, we tried road course, and I wasn't very good at it but they also had an oval track. So we went on that and we tried it there as well. And that's pretty much all she wrote. And that was the beginning. So nice. that I was about 12. Um, so we traveled through the Buckeye Karting Club for a couple of years. I earned over 15 wins there and kind of like exhausted all my options running up through the ranks. Um, so then we heard about the Allison Legacy Series. I was 14 at that time. And that was the first time I got to... Um, drive a stock car. It's a traveling division. Um, stayed there for about three years, made a couple top five finishes in there. And I, the highest place I ever earned was third in points. So they canceled that division. So then we had to make a decision. It's always every time that we were finally getting good. So, <laughs> so you're a series, so you're a series closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> So at that point, um, we made the decision. My dad still had his old street stock that he used to run at Motor Room Speedway. Um, I decided to jump into that. So then that puts me at about 16, 17 years old with my first actual big stock car that I got to drive. And I've been there ever since for over the past 15 years. Um, I've earned about 13 wins in there and locked down a championship in 2017. Nice. So, yeah, uh, I was the first female champion at Jennerstown Speedway and with the Rush um, Rush Series. So then um, we needed more of a challenge, and we found the um, Super Cup Stock Car Series. Um, Joe Schmelling has been following me along for a long time, kept calling my dad, asking when we're going to join them, when we're going to join them. So we decided it was finally the right time to do so. So that was in 2018 we made my debut in the later half of the year. Um, we had a couple top tens, but 2019 was our first full um, touring season with them. And we did it for more exposure. Um, we got to travel to a lot of tracks that we have never seen before, which I thought was pretty awesome. And then our first um, year, we were able to, they have a, north, a northern and a southern division. So we were able to lock down third in the northern points. Um, we took fourth in the overall division. There were 30 drivers registered. And we are in the top performing rookie of the year, the hard charger award. And Joe said, that's it. You can't win anymore in two years. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a really, really good year. A lot of great experiences, lots of top fives and tens. So it was overall super fun. All the guys were really um, respectable. So, and then. Um, Sorry to interrupt. Were you the only female racer um, in that series or? The only consistent one. I okay. know there's. Samantha Warbaugh is just top of the times, and I think they have another one coming in. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely the only consistent one. Nice. So that's where we're at now, right? 
That's where we're at now. And then the pandemic happened, right? The <laughs> so I, I looked at your video. I have a question. What's the, um, why do you have two cars? Is it just solely based on the travel or is it two different um, cars based on what, what type of racing you're doing? It's two different um, division cars. So okay. one that's pink and purple is the Super Cup stock car. That's the one that we travel with. And then last year due to the pandemic, that whole season was canceled. So we got the opportunity to run in the pharmacy or the, yeah, Martellus Pharmacy late model division at Jennerstown Speedway um, for the Motor Mountain Masters that they hold every year is their third or fourth annual. Um, so we picked up a ride for that. That's the late model. And then the uh, owner was kind of impressed that I didn't destroy the car. So he gave <laughs> me the opportunity to finish out the year and do a lot of learning for the rest of the year at my home track. So that's where we're at with that car. Nice. And I have another question in regards to the cars. Is there any significance with um, the number 53? Yes. So 53, um, it used to actually be my dad's number. That oh, was his. Awesome. He ran it. So I wanted to kind of carry on the tradition and run that number. Plus, everywhere I go and everywhere I look, it's constantly coming up, like on the back of 18 wheelers. I see it everywhere in the time. I see it in license plates. So I see it everywhere. And it was our garage number when we ran oh, it. Nice. So. Perfect. So um, back to the pandemic a little bit, you guys obviously were getting excited about, um, you know, the 2020 year and we all know what happened. Um, with that downtime, has that given you any new goals or new, um, you know, time to work on your car per se or anything that you guys, that's going to help you going into 2021? <laughs> <laughs> Jumping back to 53 real quick. Okay. So, I don't know if, um, I can't see it a little bit. I can't see the phone if you're trying to show me. Yeah. Wait. Okay. What do you mean I'm not there? Oh, did I take it back? I did. I'm sorry. So, there it is. I don't know if it'll. No, it won't. The yeah, that's not a great view. What are you trying to show me? <laughs> <laughs> Where it says the casted votes, um, whenever you are voting for this max attack program. Uh, my votes right now are at 53 on wow. my page. So, <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> but okay, so back to the goals. Um, our goals still remain the same. For 2020, we wanted to run for the Northern Division Championship in the Super Cup stock cars. Um, our whole season was scrapped due to the COVID. And um, so that's still our goal. It hasn't changed. I like to just make goals, and I don't like to change them until I actually meet them. Um, but I have tacked on, I would like to earn two wins, at least two wins in that division as well. One of them being at my home track. So that's, there's That'd like, be cool. special about your home track. So, and then with the late models, we're going to run that whenever I'm not traveling. So I kind of want to kind of be consistent in the top five, top 10. There are definitely some tough competition and we have a lot of learning to do. So those are our goals for now. Nice. And obviously big part of that goal with travel a trailer would help. Um, I guess that's kind of why you were attracted to Max the Tack. Um, how did you hear about Max the Tack, if you don't mind asking, and what made you gravitate towards entering? Um, we were, we've been in past competitions as well with the champion contest that happened. Um, it was for like a $30,000 sponsorship. And uh -huh. then being in that, we just started getting a lot of offers. And my dad actually, he got, he gets a bunch of emails as far as those things. And he just happened to tell me about it one day. So we checked it out and it looked like a really awesome program. Um, and there's a lot of traveling that we really want to do. And our trailer is 20 years old and it's finally starting to, you know, hit its strides there. And uh, we have to take it pretty easy on her. So we're not able to travel. We would like to travel with the late model too, but we just can't do it. Um, so it kind of limits us on a lot of things. And, it, a lot of spunk left. <laughs> my favorite part of the video is when you took the umbrella and put it up <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. That funny. You're like, oh, we need, usually need these outside, but for us, we use it indoors. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that's so true. Um, we tried to fix it and patch our, the roof of it, and it, it was a very temporary fix, but it's definitely still raining inside. And I don't like the fact that, you know, race cars aren't cheap. They're not, you know. So we don't want to do water damage and we'd like to keep all of our stuff nice and safe. So I thought that was a nice added funny touch and 
just kind of brings out my personality a little yeah, it bit. was i loved it <laughs> i actually thought your video was really good i actually liked the shot of you inside the car too that was pretty cool thanks no problem so i have some like random race questions um so do you have any pre-race rituals or superstitions that you kind of adhere to i guess uh i have a couple i usually try and wear the same clothes that i wear underneath like my fire suit um i always wear the same tank top the same socks like stuff like that i always make sure i have them washed and they're always set in my fire suit bag um also i make sure i always have my same sunglasses on the same rings um and then if i just happen to pick up swedish fish which occasionally my mom brings a bag to the track and i just start eating them it's usually a really good night and i usually end up winning so and that's definitely has happened for us a couple of times so i haven't changed it she just will sometimes be like hey you want some of these and i'm like yeah and then it's usually a really good night, so. <laughs> that's unique i guess the swedish fish part i like that yeah. <laughs> and I also noticed you in the video you had um, Panic at the Disco's High Hopes playing. Um, I want to know if you listen to any pump up music before the races and if so, what is it? Um, I Sometimes I do if there's enough time and I have some downtime in between. I usually, um, I like, I used Carrie Underwood the Champion in my previous video. I only use songs that I feel like are super fitting to my life and my racing career. Um, we won the championship in 2017, so that was kind of like my anthem for like the following year, you know, to kind of keep it going. The year before we kind of had um, not as great of a year, I actually had a, an accident where it took me out the rest of the year. So um, the band Perry's Comeback Kid was my 2017, like kind of. Oh, kid. cool. Yeah, anything that has to do with racing. Um, who is it? I Can't Drive 55. Was that Sammy Hagar? So. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So that's the that's kind of uh, you know questions about the racing, but um, what are some interests that you have um, besides racing? Um, so besides racing, I have two kids. Um, I have two boys. They're ten, and the other is almost nine. Um, they have an interest in their quads. I did get my oldest into racing as well, so we go go kart racing as well. Oh, yes. um, little one we kind of take him on some back trails behind our garage and he's getting used to that um i am a surgical technologist full-time as well so i'm pretty busy with work half the time but that's pretty much it yeah i think you gotta let the folks know also like you do a lot of the maintenance on your car as well yeah it's 90 percent of it's my dad um i usually call him dr frankenstein as he <laughs> has always put it back together um but he's teaching me more about the engines now, but I can pretty much do like some of the other maintenance, you know, your rotors and brakes and freezing fittings and things like that. We work on setups together. So we usually meld very well and set up. And sometimes he won't even tell me what he does and it just happens to work. And I just tell him, hey, whatever you did, don't change it, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool. Um, so I guess the next question, you know, this is kind of going to be, um, Two more things. Uh, first off, um, this is going to be like I said earlier before when we were off camera. This is your opportunity for you know a last minute plea uh, to get those sympathy votes. Um, so let the folks know why they should vote for you. Um, and and then lastly, um, I wanted for you to give a shout out to uh, where people can find you, your socials or your website. Um, just so if people are interested, they can um, go there and find more out more about you. All right. <coughs> <laughs> so I just want to thank everybody that helped us get to the top three. It means a lot to me and my team. We've been in contests before, but we've never ever made it this far in contests. So we were so excited. I actually started crying. Um, <laughs> so to win this trailer would mean a lot. We can travel to tracks that we've never been to before. Get our name out there. We still have a lot of spots left. Um, I want to show. It's, I do this for the kids that watch me every single week, the adults that have dreams and haven't made it there. I just want to just show them that like hard work and just staying steadfast in what you do will get you very far. And um, just to vote for us, my number is 346. Um, there's eight days left. <laughs> so you can just follow the Max Attack link. I want to thank everybody that put the, pro the uh, program on for us. And um, it'd be really awesome to hear my name called on the 18th. I don't know what I'd do, honestly. <laughs> um, my website, you can visit us on Facebook on Edlin Motorsports. 
Um, you can find me personally at Lauren Butler. Um, we do have a Twitter. It's at Edlin Motorsport, singular. And then I do have an Instagram. It's at Edlin Motorsports, plural. I also have a TikTok. I've made a couple funny videos on there as well. So you can check that out. So we're just trying all the new social medias. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for having me on with you. Um, no problem. Thanks for joining us. Um, like we said, uh, if you want to vote for Lauren, you can head to intactrailers.com slash max the pack. And what's your vote now? What's your, uh, what's it? Three, four, six? Three, four, six. Three, four, six. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. And we want to thank Intact Trailers, USMA, Car Chicks, and um, Red Tide Canopies for co-sponsoring this as well. And we'll see all you guys on 12-18 when the winner is announced. Thanks, Lauren. Bye. Have a good one. Bye.